Hey everyone, welcome to day 14. It is Friday, March 27th. I uh, thought we'd go a different direction today. Uh, people are watching a lot of TV right now, and I thought I would shoot out some ideas of some music re related things to watch. So, first, Ken Burns Jazz. This is a must watch for all jazz fans. It came out in 2001 and is a 10 episode documentary series. It's extremely well done um, and you can watch it for free at pbs.org. Whiplash. This came out in 2014. It's not accurate, but from what I understand from musicians who studied under Hank Levy, uh, it's not too far off. It is rated R for language and sexual references. And after watching this movie, you will never think Mr. Moran or I are mean to you ever again. Walk the Line. This is the story of Johnny Cash starring Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, it's a great insight into the country music industry and why not to use drugs. It's rated PG-13 for language and drug use. 2004's Ray is very similar. Uh, both are brutally honest. Ray is obviously about Ray Charles. Mr. Holland's Opus. Did you hear your parents gasp there? That's for a good reason. I know 1995 was before any of you were born, but this movie was a smash hit. Everyone watched it. It's about a high school band program and its director. I probably haven't watched it for over 20 years, but I do remember it bringing tears to my eyes. If you can find a way to watch this, I strongly recommend it. If I find a way to watch it, I'm probably going to rewatch it this week. It stars Richard Dreyfus and is rated PG. Music of the Heart. Oh, string players, you didn't think this was all going to be about band, did you? Music of the Heart is, is a similar movie to Mr. Holland's Opus, but about a woman starting a string program in an inner city school. It came out in 1999 and is based on a true story. It stars Meryl Streep and is rated PG. Sister Act. Oh yeah, I got one for the singers as well. This recently became a Broadway musical, but you should check out the original from 1992 starring Whoopi Goldberg. It's about a woman who is put into witness protection as a nun and to, decides to start a music program at an inner city Catholic school. Pitch Perfect 2012 starring Anna Kendrick. This is about college a cappella singing. It might be exaggerated, but it's a thing. There's a big tradition of college a cappella singing and competing. It's rated PG-13 for some language and some sexual slash drug references. There are a ton more that I haven't seen, especially if you want to look into documentaries. I know La La Land was popular, Bohemian Rhapsody, Rocket Man, A Star is Born, Jersey Boys, Dream Girls, uh, The Doors. I would just caution you to take most of these with a grain of salt. Most of these dramatized documentary style movies are not even close to accurate. There are several comedies in the music world. The Blues Brothers and its sequel are fantastic, and they feature a lot of real legendary musicians. But it's rated R, and I cannot recommend it to anybody under the age of 13. This is Spinal Tap, is a mockumentary of the hair metal band world. And A Mighty Wind is a mockumentary of the folk music world. Uh, both are very funny, but are rated R for some very adult humor. Uh, a ton of musicals have been made into great movies. My personal favorites are Rent, Into the Woods, The Greatest Showman, and Newsies. But there's also Les Miserables, Hairspray, Mamma Mia, Grease, Sound of Music, West Side Story, Family Opera, The King and I, Guys and Dolls, Fiddler on the Roof, and a ton of options. And if all else fails, I guess there's always cats. See you tomorrow.